Now, what we're going to do is we are going to use the equation for the electric field, which is equal to the derivative of the electric potential as a function of position, the negative of that, to find both the electric potential and the electric field at a specific point from two positively charged um, particles. So they're going to have the same positive charge and we're going to figure out the electric field that exists and the electric potential that exists at this point P which is going to be located a distance A from both of them uh, horizontally and a distance Y from both of them vertically. All right. First off, please point in the direction of the electric field that's right there. You should know it. The electric field for both of those is going to be straight up. We're going to start off by figuring out the electric potential at P, though. The electric potential at P is going to be equal to, this is where the fact that it's a scalar is helpful. Because when we did this before, because we've done this exact problem before, we needed to figure out the direction of the electric field, then we needed to break that into components, we needed to show that the electric field in the x direction canceled out, and that it was only the y direction that um, was included. Therefore, it's just equal to, if we call this one 1 and this one 2, the electric potential due to 1 plus the electric potential due to 2. Now, I do want to point out that a lot of times when you're talking about a point charge, you will simply see it as V is equal to KQ over R. Uh, that's because this is defined specifically as the electric potential difference between a point infinitely far away and a point R distance from the point charge. So that's specifically what this means. When they drop the delta, it specifically means the electric potential difference between infinitely far away and a point R distance from the point charge. So, this is simply equal to KQ1 over R1 plus KQ2 over R2. Well, the Qs and the Rs are the same, so this is 2KQ over R. What is R? Mike? Look. The square root of A squared plus Y squared. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we get the square root of a squared plus y squared. That's the electric potential at point P. Now, we can figure out the electric field at point P. It's equal to the negative of the derivative of the electric potential at point P, or the negative of the derivative, derivative with respect to R of 2kq over, and we should leave this as R if we're going to take the derivative with respect to R. Actually, uh, we probably shouldn't do that because we actually know the direction here. So rather than R, we should identify the direction, which is uh, the electric field is in the Y direction. So we should leave this actually as A squared plus Y squared so that we can work with it. A squared plus Y squared, the square root. So now, the electric field. Please take the derivative of 2KQ over the square root of A squared plus Y squared, all of that with respect to Y. Okay. Um, you can pull out the 2kq. Okay. That'll make it easier if we do 2kq multiplied by the derivative of what? What's a squared plus y squared? How are you going to? Um, that would be 1 over square root of a squared plus y squared. Right. But it's probably easier to do the, the derivative of a squared plus y squared raised to the 1 half power. Negative. Right? Okay. Keep going. Go ahead. I need the derivative of the square root, the negative square root of a squared plus y squared. Okay. I was thinking the chain rule. Go ahead.
I need more. I usually do that in front, but yes, negative one half. Well, right. That's why I said GQ. I'm sorry, I missed that. <laughs> sorry, my fault. Okay. Um. <laughs> KQ over a squared plus y squared. We're not done. Uh, We're not done with the derivative. What else do we need to finish this here? Need the derivative of the inside, so be 2a plus 2y. Ah, we need the derivative of the inside, which is not going to be 2a plus 2y. Catherine. 2y. 2y. What happens to the a squared? Zero. It's a constant, so it's just zero. So this is multiplied by 2y. So we have a bunch of things that cancel. As you said, the negative, uh, two of the twos, we get kqy times, uh, or divided by a squared plus y squared to the three halves power on the bottom. Oh, and we have an extra two lying around. And that is the exact same result as what we got when we did it in chapter 23. Only when we did it in chapter 23, we didn't use the concept of electric potential difference. So what we did was we had to use vectors. In the end, the, in my opinion, the scalar version with the derivative is a little bit easier. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me, although I will point out that I've seen questions like this where they specify that you need to use one or the other. So you probably should need to know how to do both. Uh, 